What's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Uh, today I'm going to tie a fly which is uh, made by myself but it has some flies out there which are very much I like it. I prefer to call this one copper orange or orange yeah. and this is a streamer pattern that has been delivering excellently for me and uh, we are using an RX NS118 number 6, which is the classic uh, streamer hooks from RX. And for the eyes of this uh, fly, I'm using, it's like an hourglass uh, eyes, actually LED, I think. But you can use any kind of dumbbell eyes, they don't need to have the pe pebble or, or any anything in them just as long as they make the fly sink and you got the uh, pattern of the fly in the video's description and there you can find also information about uh, if you want to support the channel that will be very much uh, appreciated and it's a paper link which you can support me if you like uh, I'm using a Semperfly Nano Silk uh, in 50 denier for this uh, fly. And uh, I figured out maybe I should have used like a waxed thread for this one because it's a little slippery, even though it's like super strong thread. And yeah, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content coming this winter. I've been, to be honest with you guys, I've been busy the last, well, ever since August this year. Both like uh, some health issues, I've been to go to see the doctor quite, quite, few, quite a few times. And uh, then again, I've been traveling both to Warsaw and Poland and back from there and then to Florida. I spent two weeks down there with great, great people. It's like a second family to me. Absolutely great people. And uh, yeah, to attach the eyes, we'll do this what I'm doing. So we are like uh, not uh, zigzagging or crossing the eyes with the thread, but doing this uh, movement. So we are tightening them up with the um, thread from beneath, as I did to secure the eyes just a little drop of sap up each side is gonna really do the job it's like a super glue but it's clear you can also if you if you want of course just use the regular super glue and this is as i said this is a, a super simple streamer I don't, I don't remember the name of the other fly which is out there it is very, I like it's a little bit more feathers on it, but I like to keep my flies simple. If you can keep them simple, just keep them simple because uh, this fly delivers. Absolutely. It's a promise for me. It's going to work for Brunt Rod. And you can tie it in like 10, 8 or 6 on a classic streamer hook. So for the tail of the copper orange, I'm using an orange uh, marabou, of course. Actually, you can use red or black marabou for this, but uh, it works that, that way, but far the best results I've had with this fly while fishing, I uh, had it on the orange one. So to get control of the uh, fibers, you just like apply a little bit of saliva on the on the feather so it's gonna there it's gonna make it stick together which is gonna make it way easier to work with the work with them so it's like of the length of the hook shank a little bit more than that for the tail so um so um you'll tie this down on the hook shank like this and the first log, the log I made for the first fishing trip of this year, uh, you can find actually uh, 
it's the first log. You can find it on the in, the, in my videos on the channel. But uh, the only fish I caught that day that was on this fly, and I decided to. Of course, I will have to tie the fly and link it to that video, cross link them, so it all makes sense. Um, I decided to add a little bit more to the tail of the fly, simply because the marabou is like when it gets wet, it's super, you know, gets really thin and then slim. So you need some volume of marabou when you're using it as a tail. Uh, I like to use pearl flash for the uh, pearl crystal flash, it's called. For the... Uh, like a, on the sides of the tail, and then I'm, and then I'm messing something up. It is, I think, important. Somebody uh, commented on a video from me and asked me to not cut the videos as I've been doing. Well, I did that in the beginning, but for the beginners in the sport to keep all my mistakes in the video. And the videos and I'm gonna do that so if I make any mistakes I'll just show you how to uh, how to make them up if I break the thread I'll show you how to fix that so um, we get the crystal flush down here so it's like two strands on each side and I was gonna as you see gonna cut it but nope not yet I'll hold my horses, tie them down further front, uh, further closer to the hook eyes or the eye, and then bend them over, like fold them over so it's not going to slip by any chance. And then we will start to work with the uh, body of the fly. That is made out of a dubbing brush which is from i think it is from vineyard i'm not familiar that uh, samperfly is making these brushes yet hopefully it'll do in the in the very future but for this size of a fly i will be using the whole brush actually for it because i want the Want the body of the fly to be rather dense because uh, the deal is with this material the fibers in the brush they're going to they're quite loose so um, so um, they will like it's going to fall out out of the brush when you attach the brush to the body as you see it's like on, on the vice uh, pedal set and, and my legs, <laughs> it is like snowing from this uh, these fibers. You see it on my fingernail and that stuff. So it's going to fall off. And I'm going to show you what you can do with these remains of the, of the fibers. Instead of tossing them away to the trash, there is a way to use them. I'll just show you now in a few minutes. Then we wrap our dubbing brush forward toward, towards to the eyes of the fly and to the head of the fly. And uh, I'm using the hackle pliers to take the very last uh, spins. Give it a couple of more, like so. And then we lock it in with our sample fly heavy duty 50 denier nano silk love those threads they're so strong but slippery sometimes you will need the wax then we secure the um, secure the topping brush with uh, with uh, a few tight wraps and um, as you see uh, my lips are moving because another uh, video is recorded in Icelandic but uh, I'm dubbing it in English, just as I'm dubbing the remaining fibers. So these are just fibers I'm showing you, uh, which I'm dubbing on the thread. This is something which just felt off the dubbing brush. So you can imagine this is quite a lot. And 
instead of just tossing them away, I would, yeah, I would suggest to dub them on and finish the fly with them. So we'll trim away the brush now and the remains of the brush I'm going to use. I'm going to pick out the fibers from it, as I'm doing right now. I'm going to dub them on the thread. So we will have like a, like a full result. Um, hopefully enough dubbing material on the thread, this noodle I'm making. Hopefully it's going to cover the eyes, like cross zigzag one time. Like this, and this, and then back here. Yeah, we made it. And it's going to look like this. So it's going to, yeah. We are using all the whole, the whole brush and nothing but the brush for this fly. And as you see, if I apply a little bit of saliva on my finger, you see how it's going to react in water. It's like really a live material in the water. And as you see, it's like it looks like a little fish. And when it's in the water gliding there, it's just fantastic moments of it when you have like heavy, heavy ice, ice on it, you get like a jig movement of it and the fish can't actually, it can't stand it. It just, it's going to go after it. And as I said, this, this pattern delivers a lot of brown trout. I got, got quite a lot of uh, fish with it in the way the wet area this summer too, up in the islands. Just fantastic, uh, pattern. It is super simple. It's only three, four materials you use for it. And it's like, um, yeah, I like to keep my materials and the flies simple. If it's possible to fish with a simple fly, it's just, that's what I love to do. Often simple delivers the best. That's my experience. Um, I'm going to coat the knot with a solar bone cure. But if you really want to have like a strong hold in the knot, you will use a sap cap or a or a cellulose uh, uh, head varnish. But this time I'm gonna use the uh, solar spawn cure. I like that material a lot. It's easy to work with and it uh, it's not sticky or tacky or anything. That's what I like about the Solaris uh, products. So um, we're almost to, almost to, to the finish line of this video. I just want to say to you guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of more content coming in this winter. And you can support the channel if you like. That's, uh, you can find information about that uh, in the descriptions of the video. But until next time, We'll see you guys in the next video.